Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Jen Liddy, and I'm here today with Jen Lehner, who is, so I met Jen as part of her group, The Front Row VIP. She is a digital strategist and knows all things techie, digital, but she really helps people build their business online. She is an online build, business builder, and I've asked her to share with us today her strategies for staying sane during this time. And I know she's got some great tools to share with you, so I'm going to be quiet and let Jen introduce herself and her tools. Thank you again, Jen. I know you're a busy woman. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jen. I love seeing you online every day. You are, you are, you show up, my friend. You are in my Instagram stories and you are in my Instagram feed and you are in Facebook and I love how you're showing up. Thank you. I'm hearing an echo. Let me turn on my headphones. Do you hear the echo? I'm going to mute myself. That should help after I mute myself. Hello, hello. Testing, testing. Okay, we're good. Um, so you want me, I'll just I'll just share with you some of the things that we were talking about in the green room. Um, and that is like, how am I coping? Like what's keeping me like in my in my workflow and just keeping me sane during this this time? And for me, um, and I'm sure for for most people, is that having structure. Um, is is everything It gives us a sense of calm and control in a in 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 a world right now that we just you know are just free falling it feels like right so you just you need to tether yourself to something and for me um, I have tried to maintain my normal workday as much as possible even though you know the whole family is home um, and I start my day every day with a flash briefing that I record on Amazon Lexi. We're going to call her Lexi so we don't wake her up in your house. And um, and um, so I've been doing this for, I don't know now, a year and a half or something. And it's just a two minute audio that I create every single morning. And um, and the thing is, it's like I would be doing it if I, I think I would be doing it even if I thought Alexa was broken, um, just because this is so important to me. It is something that I'm doing every single day routinely it is structure i'm creating something and um and that gives me a great great sense of relief and when i'm doing that also i can't think about anything else i'm very focused on what i'm doing and so what i would say is that if you don't have something that you're doing every day um i think now's the time to start the blog the vlog the alexa flash briefing the daily live stream. And I am talking about something you can do on the daily um, to th that feels good to you, that is easy enough for you to do without feeling like a burden. Like this should feel like something, this should be super enjoyable for you. And uh, and as you can see, you, as you've probably noticed, more like now you're getting alerts that people are live, 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 live. You know, but I, I of course, a lot of that is because of just the we have a, a very deep need to connect right now um, and, and to be to be with people and to be social in that way. Uh, but also people are I'm, I'm seeing people start to create content in a way that they haven't before, because I think they're also um, searching for that thing to be tethered to. And so I think that's that's really uh, important. And I would say that um, in line with that, like with systems in general, like I, I love systems. I teach people how to use, you know, and create systems in their business, but um, very much so in our personal lives as well. So like, I'm sure, I mean, okay, this is a first world problem and I don't want anybody, I'm not trying to make anybody feel sorry for me, but I had to, of course, let go of the cleaning people and the laundry lady. And I, I haven't done laundry in a long time because um, well, because I haven't. And so now I am, and that's okay. The way that I am embracing this and I really am excited about it is that and I had asked you, Jenny, if you remembered fly lady back in the day, and I think her URL is still flylady.net, but, um, she basically teaches you how to have these, um, systems in your home to keep order and, you know, get, keep the chaos away in your, in your home. And, um, without having to have like a, 12 hour cleaning day, right? Like it's, it's, it's a way of maintaining your home and keeping order. So I'm psyched to, I haven't, I haven't started yet, but, <laughs> but I'm excited to get, and I saved my, um, what did she call them? I think they were called control panels or something. Essentially it was like, um, a three ring notebook with, um, and, uh, 
the plastic sleeves for your, for the pages. And then you'd use the dry erase thing to, to check off. I saved that because I knew I just, it was too good to throw away. And I'm glad that I saved it because. Yeah. Her yeah. stuff is simple too. Like you, you don't, she really like every day, it's like a little teeny tiny thing that you do systematically and it doesn't feel overwhelming because when you get rid of your cleaning lady and you get rid of your laundry lady, like that could really feel overwhelming for me. Uh, I'm struggling with this at dinner time. Like I realize how much we go out to dinner or get takeout or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. So I need, so this is very important. Like it's not just business, it's not just business systems, it's systems in your home too. Yeah. And there's, and you know, God, we live in a world of riches of information, right? Like, because even with the dinner thing, like um, I have been relying on, um, uh, some of my favorite online chefy people and cookie cooking people to uh, like reignite same here. Like I'm trying to like reignite some of my old passions. My passions for cooking like comes and goes and I've never enjoyed it when I felt like I had to do it. And if one of my kids is like, what's for dinner? I want to just blow my lids. I'm just like, don't ask me what's for dinner. Cause it's six o'clock when they ask me and I'm like, I don't know what's for dinner. Right. And then what do you go to? It's like pasta is easy. Well, I don't need to be eating any pasta. No more pasta. Like I don't want to eat pasta, but it's quick. It's easy. You know what I mean? And then the guilt. So I get you like the dinner time thing. It's hard, but there are so many great. I'm trying to think like there are so many great like um, clubs and um, cooking challenges and all that kind of stuff that you could throw yourself into um, because, yeah, I'm not doing takeout. Even though we could still do takeout, I'm personally like, I'm afraid to do takeout. I I mean, I am, uh, but you know, so that means I've, we, I've been cooking every single night and that, and I'm, but I, I have been kind of enjoying it. Um, the other thing is just in terms of things that keep me on the, on the path and, and being like, feeling like I'm moving forward and feeling good are audible books. I'm sure, you know. Um, and I found a thing last night. Oh gosh, let me just check my email real quick. Cause I didn't know about this, but it was so wonderful. Our local bookstore, um, posted about this. We have an amazing local bookstore and she, she mentioned, um, I'm sure I have it in my confirmation email. If not, I'll just give you the link and you can, uh, post it underneath, but it's, uh, it's like audible, except you, you can choose a bookstore that gets the profit instead of it being a, a local bookstore. So you could pick your favorite local bookstore or a local bookstore anyway, but, but it's just like audible in that you can pick your favorite title, download it into your phone. And, um, and right now they're doing like crazy free, you know, like two or three books for free, um, you know, and, and they'll still give that credit to the local bookstore. So I don't have it right off the top of my head, but I will, I will send it to you. Darn, where is that? Okay. Um, the other thing is there's an app called optimize.me and it's Brian Moran, I think is his name. And my coach had clued me into this. Now it's very male because he's a man, but he's enlightened. He's not like a bro dude, you know, and he is, um, uh, you'll see, like, just go check it out. There's just every kind of way to optimize yourself spiritually, physically, to challenge yourself. It's really great. I think I saw, I signed up. He has a membership site. It was very inexpensive. Um, but it's worth seeing actually, even as a membership site creator to see what he's done because he does some very unusual, cool things. Um, I'm really super impressed with them. Um, creative live. Uh, are, are you familiar with creative live? So yeah, go ahead. Is that an, is it an online learning, um, hub? It is. It's an online learning hub that started off for and by creatives like artists and makers and stuff. But now there's a whole there's a whole section that is like, you know, digital and um, social media and content creation and stuff. Really, really beautifully done stuff. I'm in the middle of a podcasting a uh, course that is more about story storytelling. It was like 27 bucks and I'm telling you it's worth like, it's worth thousands. It's the best course. And um, I'm halfway through it, but you know, this is making me feel really good because I'm not, all these things are building me up and they're, it's not just about getting some inspirational 
whatever, right? Like I need that too. But I also think it's important that we um, are growing. We are not, there's a word that I'm looking for and it's not um, decay, decay. We can have decay. And a friend of mine was saying like, it would be an interesting social experiment. If you took a picture of yourself is if someone took a picture of just their face every day over these next few months, um, you know, just, just like, you know, mugshot style, just click, click, click. And to see how we change physically, how we're going to change physically over this time, the gray hair, obviously the, you know, the, um, weight gain or weight loss the um, lashes. Like my already took my lashes off. And it's so weird to look at myself now. Well, you look pretty with or without Thank lashes. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I just, it, it, it's going to be, um, I've totally lost my train of thought. Was time, well, I think you were saying that we have to kind of be agile. Like we have to, so that we don't decay. We have to be agile with our minds, with our bodies. Yes. And, and also the sense I got that you were, cause you were saying the weight gain and like what the stress is going to do to us, the gray hairs that are going to come in. Um, I think it's time for some self-acceptance, self-love, gentleness. With totally. Ourselves. Yeah, totally. And, and, um, and then, but in terms of like the little mind, the little doses of inspiration, you know, listening to you is, is always a good thing to do. Um, our friend Patty Lennon is incredible, you know, finding those beacons of light that you love the way that they, um, the way that they make you feel when you listen to their live streams. It's nice to have those people sort of on your sort of proverbial speed dial. Um, so you can access that stuff. Also my favorite flash beat briefing in the world is, um, <laughs> That's funny. My favorite flash briefing in the world is um, Everyday Positivity by Kate Cocker. Okay, so first of all, flash briefings are amazing, you guys. So if you go to Amazon.com and you go to the skills area and you search for um, just type in stuff that you're interested in and that you'll things will pop up, right? Like if you want to you know, Pilates or whatever, and you'll see things that pop up and you also be able to look for most at the most popular, most listened to uh, flash briefings or skills. There's all sorts of fun games. Like um, uh, I just did a podcast episode with, with uh, that's coming out soon, all about the, the cool things that you can do um, with, with uh, your, your Amazon device, but add Everyday Positivity, search for it on Amazon. Everyday Positivity by Kate Cocker. She's got this amazing British accent and she's not just reading quotes. She, she's so different. You'll see what I mean when you listen, but that also is a great way to start your day. Um, and um, there's an, an app that I love. Do you know about 10% Happier? Yeah, so it's meditations and it's like stuff to help you get to sleep and really good lectures and stuff. Love that. Um, and then Peloton right now, I've 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 had I have a Peloton bike, but you don't need a bike to use the app. And I you subscribe, and I have been a subscriber to I use the app more than I use my bike because there's running, there's running programs, walking, yoga, meditation, stretching, everything. They're really, really good. And they sort of gamify it. So it's like, I don't, you know, going for a 20 minute run feels doable to me. And they have all these 20 minute runs and somebody's talking to you and they're like, okay, you're halfway there. It's time to turn back. I love that, you know, and the music is good too. So um, I really love that. Uh, and then Right now, there's just some really cool free stuff that is, um, I'm sure you're all seeing pop up, but um, one that we enjoyed last night was we're a Broadway family because our oldest son totally made us be right. Like he, he, he loved it. And so that we, we followed suit and then we ended up going to all the Broadway and, and, and he, he likes to be in the theater. And so I was not really a fan of musicals before, but if you like musical theater, Amazon um, lot has, has all these great shows that are like actually filmed on Broadway um, streamed through Amazon. There's only, it's only like a two week free trial, I think. And then they charge you, but just, just to be able to, to watch it was like so much fun, something different to watch a play at home as opposed to a movie or Netflix. And then the Met is, um, is live streaming opera and it, it is, it is truly live streamed and it is free. Um, 
I mean, they're pre-recorded, but they're live streaming. So you can only catch it at that time. So you just Google the Met and you'll see the, the list of those, um, which is, I don't know where that fits in this conversation other than it's something cool that I'm excited about in a time when things look bleak, you know, that, and I guess that's, that, that leads me to my final point is like, let's get excited, you know, pick things that you look forward to every day that you really get excited about. And um, it, it keeps the, the fear and, and anxiety at bay. And these are super helpful strategies. I love all of your, they're very like, they're very doable. They're very tactical. And the systems in your life and in your business are so vital right now because um, I was just talking to somebody this morning who's a, her life is very controlled. She's, she's not an entrepreneur. So she's used to a very kind of routinized, rigid lifestyle. And this has her absolutely panicking. So there's so much we can't control right now. So the big question is, what can we control? And you've given us so many great tools to help us remember that we, we can have some semblance of control, but we also have to have control over our mindset and our emotions. And so I'm glad that you talked about that too. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. I mean, we're all just trying to figure this crazy stuff out, right? Yes. And how lucky are we that we have like the fact that I can talk to you right now is is amazing to me. Like how how lucky are we that this happened in a in an era when we can at least connect in this way? And I am not um, I'm on social media, but I there uh, social media often frustrates me because of sometimes the negativity or the infl inflammatory nature of it. I have been enjoying social media so much more because I'm actually being social on it, and so. Um, you know, that's, that's another thing, like I'm changing my mindset on how to, how to connect with people. So thank you for letting me connect with you. And thank you for coming on and sharing your tools with us. And uh, how can people become part of your community? How can they, where's the best place to find you? Um, I think they'll have the most fun in, um, in the front row. So that's my free online community um, where there's a lot of conversation and um, it's just a good place to be. So that's uh, frontrowclassroom.com. Okay. Um, Front row classroom. I'm just putting this in here now. Classroom. Sure. And Lisa classroom. said she signed up for masterclass over the holidays. That's another one. Oh my gosh. What oh, seen beautiful. That and and they're they're affordable. And you can buy like, you know, there's screenwriting with um Alan Sarkin. And like, I mean, just they're the greatest courses. There's cooking, yeah. there's everything. Yeah. Um there's one more thing I wanted to say, but I can't oh, remember what it was. Oh, I wanted to just tell you all that, you know, Jen has this amazing uh, community called the Front Row. And then she has, is Front Row VIP even open for new members? It's going to be open like in a week. We're waiting on some new branding. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I would say, like, Jen is one of the most generous, knowledgeable online business growth people that you could follow. She she does an amazing job. She always has answers. And if she doesn't have the answers, she goes and finds the answers for you. So if you have not yet sought her out and you are looking for somebody to help you with like the, she she's creative, but she's also very, she's strategic and she's tactical. It's kind of amazing to me. So please follow Jen. And uh, when she does open up her front row CE, uh, her front row VIP group, you want to be a part of it. It's it's the most amazing resources are in there. So thank you again, Jen. Uh, thanks for that. Thanks so much. Very true. Yes, very true. All right. Have a great day, Jen. I appreciate you. you too. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Bye. Jen.